woman that has been almost completely forgotten in film history, which is Nell Shipman. She was an actress and she was also a writer. She did well in those roles in Hollywood, but she felt very oppressed by the studio system. She really didn't feel like she had the freedom to be an artist. And she also had other concerns about Hollywood. She had concerns about the treatment of animals. And she was one of the first filmmakers to speak up about how animals should be treated and to speak out against animal cruelty. She was also very unique in her feelings about how women were portrayed in film. Most women were portrayed as, as damsels in distress, but Nell Shipman created characters where the woman was in a more dominant role, where the woman was the hero. And she even has movies that she made where the woman saves the man. Unfortunately, it's really hard to survive outside the studio system. That's true today, and it was true back then. Once the studios were formed, they really got a death grip on the whole movie industry. So it was hard for anyone to survive outside that system. But Nell tried. Nell left the studios. She went to Idaho and opened her own studio. She went to a very remote location in Idaho, in Priest Lake, which is in far northern Idaho, near the Canadian border. And she built a studio in this remote area. She brought her entire zoo of trained animals with her. And she set up her studio in Idaho and decided to start making movies. Um, and she made movies that were what she wanted to see made. Uh, she was the director, she was the star, she was the writer. And she created movies that were about strong women, women that were saving others, and also protecting animals. Unfortunately, the studio system was a, a Goliath that she could not defeat. Um, it was a much it was much bigger than her, and it was hard for anyone uh, to be successful in that arena when you weren't playing the game and weren't playing by those rules. Um, so she increasingly got more and more in debt, and um, it became very hard for her to distribute her films. And so eventually, her studio had to close. Uh, she continued to be a very successful writer, uh, but her dream of forming her own studio and making her own movies um, with, by her own standards eventually died out. Unfortunately, her story is, has nearly been lost. Because of the efforts of her son, Barry Shipman, uh, the story has survived. Her son wanted to see the story made into a movie, whether it be a documentary or a feature film. He wanted to see the story of his mother live on in some form. I would really like to see the story of Nell Shipman go on and become a part of film history where I think it belongs.